Welcome to Inside Sim Racing, March 23rd edition. I'm Sean Cole. Darren Ganji here. And uh, first off, I want to thank everybody who participated in our last contest. And secondly, I'd like to apologize because we had no idea what kind of contest we had created. Yeah, I take uh, responsibility for that. I'm the one that edited that show and uh, didn't realize how many SRTs there were going to be until after we did the show and counted them. So we were thinking in the 30 range. So want to grab that? Yeah. So we got the, uh, we're going to pick the winner. Uh, first, we're going to pick the runner-up. All right. And, uh, oh, the count was, by the way, we're not really sure, <laughs> to be honest. We, it's either 131 or 133. There was a couple questionables. So we gave the guys that picked 133 or 131, they're in that. There was a common theme. At least those seem to be the two popular in our count as well. Yeah, so. All right, let me you mix the runner up. up. Yeah. You, All you right. pick the runner-up, I'll pick the winner. That sounds good. All right, the runner-up, and this is for the SRT mug goes to Mike Fleming, who uh, guessed uh, 133. Mike Fleming, all right, SRT mug. Uh, oh, guess who won it? <laughs> Our buddy NASCAR fan, Sean <laughs> Duffy, NASCAR fan, 133. So, Sean, all right. you guys sent us your, uh, your addresses. Uh, let us know that you participated. And uh, Mike Fleming, runner-up, he got the uh, SRT mug. So thanks, guys, for participating. Congratulations. Thanks for counting all those SRTs. Really appreciate it. And again, thanks for participating. Yeah, but we're not even close to done. I mean, we got a whole other contest coming Big up. Big contest don't we? coming up. Arca Sim Racing. All right. Who uh, compliments of the Sim Factory? These guys have uh, given us some copies to uh, give away here on the show, and that's going to be one. Watch to the end of the show. There's going to be two questions you got to answer about the show. Stay tuned for uh, info on entering and. Uh, We'll be right back after these uh, messages with a uh, 78-year-old sim racer. Yeah, you got to like seeing the old-timers still doing it. We got a great show, uh, clip of him. Yep, Wild Bill. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Inside Sim Racing, and uh, this week we got an email from a Holidaysburg, Pennsylvania, from a Wade Breon, telling us about his grandfather, who's 78 years old, and he's a sim racer. So, uh, got a little story about him, why don't you guys check it out? In 1992, when Bill Satzler retired from the railroad industry, his grandkids bought him a computer. First thing he said was, I'll never touch it. That was until they got him NASCAR 1 and a Thrustmaster wheel, and now a day doesn't go by that he isn't racing. Now he goes by Wild Bill Online, and he resides in Lewistown, Pennsylvania. Bill just had a birthday back on March 3rd, as a matter of fact, his 78th. Probably makes Bill one of the oldest racers online. Bill's been into racing for a long time, as you can see from these pictures with him and his brothers. They won numerous track championships in these carts, as a matter of fact. Bill was also the owner of both of these micro sprint cars, and Randy, in the number five, won several championships. Since 1994, Bill has been able to do his racing from the comfort of his home. He's still currently racing in a couple of NASCAR 2003 leagues, one of them at Hobo Racing. Matter of fact, he just got a second at Martinsville, of all places. He's been racing nonstop since he hooked up that Thrustmaster and loaded up NASCAR 1. Every car while Bill runs has Claudette's name on the rear as his motor sponsor. She's his wife of 55 years. We just wanted to give Wild Bill a shout out here on SRT and to show you all out there, it doesn't matter how young or old you are, you can be a competitive sim racer. Hope I can be racing when I'm 78 like Wild Bill. Thanks, Wade, for sharing such a cool story with us here at SRT. Well, that's a great story about Wild Bill, and actually we thought it was so cool and wanted to thank them for contributing to the show, so we uh, went ahead and got them a uh, compliment to the Sim Factory, a copy of the uh, Arca Remax Sim. 
So we'll see them out on the track soon, hopefully enough. Yeah, it looks like they'll, he's going to be enjoying it. Wild Bill's definitely a stock car racer. So uh, see you guys out on the track hopefully soon on an ARCA server. And uh, hey, you guys got a story out there that you'd like to contribute to the show, and it's something like this, human interest story like this, send it to us at our contact page, info at simracingtonight.com, and uh, we put your story on the air and get you out a copy of Arca Sim Racing. Right on. So uh, next up we're going to have, uh, what, we got GTO 288 Challenge Mod for our factor. We've got the Sim Challenge, and uh, we'll get to that right after these messages. All right. Some three wide for sure, and it almost looked like they were trying to make a four back there. Hi, I'm Wild Bill Sassler, and you're watching Inside Sim Racing. Sim Challenge headed to the Czech Republic last weekend to run their season openers at Brno in the GT and NGT classes running GTR2. After sitting on the pole in the GT class and looking like the pre-race favorite, Chris Smysak of Twister Racing was the victim of the joined server bug and was unable to participate. Arnold Lancome of Virtual Games led the way over Matthew Prevo and Max Del Orco of Cyber Racing from the start until pit stops and that's where the race would be decided. Prevo's virtual crew was able to service his car faster than Lancome's. Del Orco would receive a stop and go for speeding which would drop him back to 12th and out of podium contention. Lancome was almost able to close the gap for the win but Prevo proved to be too strong taking the season opener at Brno over Lancome and Miro Nenko of Comrade Racing who rounded out the final podium position. All three podium finishers drove Salines. In the NGT class, starting from the pole, leading 39 laps and never really under any pressure, Marco Hartikainen dominated the NGT class at their opener over Sasha Zavalov and Richard Johansson. Tom Goodall's chance at a podium went up in smoke when his Ferrari caught fire. The series heads to Hockenheim next week for round two to continue where they left off. Stay tuned here on SRT or head over to sim-challenge.com to check out or join in on the action yourself. The guys over at Apex Modding have created a beautiful rendition of the Ferrari 288 GTO. The 288 GTO comes with a strong motor and relatively lightweight. All models of the car run the 2.8 liter bi-turbo motor and produce 400 horsepower at 7,000 RPM. The Ferrari drives well. At first it will seem very light on the front wheels and quick to turn in. At lower speed the car feels very loose as little wheel input will cause plenty of turning from the car. At very high speeds the car picks up a little understeer until you get some grip out of the front wheels. The other thing you will notice is that the car comes with some mighty brakes and under braking the car can be pushed fairly hard. The graphics on this mod are fantastic. The cars look identical to the real cars that they are modeling. This is also true when inside the car, with a great looking dashboard and steering wheel. The sounds are also well done and definitely have the raspy sound of a typical Ferrari. I will highly recommend that you check out the 288 GTO mod by Apex Modding. It's a fun car to drive and a nice addition to your R-Factor stable. Head over to R-Factor Central and check it out for yourself. The car has already made it to number 22 on the R-Factor Central Hall of Fame. Also, this car will be running in the race at RFC, running the Masano Road Course, so you can check your times against your rivals. All right, well, that wraps things up for this episode of Inside Sim Racing, and uh, talked about that Arca Sim Racing game to enter and win. Uh, you need to answer the following questions from this, from this episode. Number one, where's Wild Bill from? And number two, what was the color of the first 288 GTO that we showed during that segment? All right, so... Send your answers to contest at simracingtonight.com. One entry per email address. Uh, we're going to announce the winner on the April 6th edition of Inside Sim Racing right here. We're going to do a drawing just like we did. Probably going to have a lot more to, uh, to draw. Kind of an easier gonna, prize. Uh, it's not going to fit in that helmet, I'm sure. Two questions. <laughs> come on, you guys can answer those two questions. Deadline's April 4th, 2008, so get your entries in as soon as possible. And uh, that's it for the show. Stay tuned this week, Thursday. Got uh, Daytona Part 3. Part 3. Looking forward to that. Also, Butt Kicker uh, LFB review. Going to do a quick review on that. You'll be taking care of that. Yep. Darren Gandy here. Sean Cole. See you guys later.